Yo, what is up, all you super fly King Kongs of aquariums? It's Aquafunk. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about a fish that I am very, very fond of, and I'm I'm kind of bored with videos on this fish with all the technical blah 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 that's not what you want to know about this fish you want to know real hand first hand accounts of what to expect to get this fish. first of all let me tell you we're gonna be talking about the bites we're gonna be talking about two to be exact the reason i'm talking about these two is because these are the two that you will commonly see we're gonna be talking about the cynical and we're gonna be talking about the delhezy all right the cynical you can find almost anywhere all right for relatively cheap so as far as your first bice is concerned it's probably gonna be that one the delhezy you start seeing them more and more i have delhezy's now and i'm gonna talk to you about my experiences with these fish all right i'm not gonna i'll give you a little bit of you know information about them um technical stuff but check this check this i've always thought it was funny when people said do your research as a youtuber me telling you do your re it's just ridiculous to me that's why you watching me right because you're trying to do your research so uh <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you do your research what i'm gonna tell you is um it's done all right i'm not gonna give you the technical mumbo jumbo because here's the problem with the bicer technical mumbo jumbo look, I, if you want to for the fun of it go ahead look up look them up look up five different um websites or care sheets on this very same fish and you you'll read almost five different variations of sizes and and stuff like that so you know damn all that i'm gonna tell you my experiences what you can expect in real life getting these fish first of all i'm gonna tell you they will mess up your whole aquarium game that's a fact they will make it so that no matter what fish you keep in your fish room or in your home you always have to have at least one tank with a bite shirt in it let's get a couple of particulars out the way um let's start with the Senegal. i read somewhere where the Senegal gets 20 inches long. i would love for someone to show me or in the comments below show me a website or if uh, uh, my i have my um email my email is in my description show me a picture of a 20 inch Senegal bicer please because I, I i just thought that was a little comical i've never seen a 20 inch so that's that's almost two foot Senegal bicer i've never seen one not saying that is not I, I don't know everything you know what i mean i'm not the king of stuff that everybody knows but i've never seen one if you ask me how big a Senegal Bicer gets, I'm going to say 10 to 12 inches. 10 to 12 inches. I, I just, I just, I've never seen a, a two foot Senegal Bicer. So there's that. All right. The other Bicer I'm going to talk to you about is the Delhizy Bicer. That's the one I got. I got two of them right here. And I'm going to give you a fun little story about my Delhizy Bicers. I used to have three of them. I only have two now. I'll tell you why a little bit later. Um, then there's the Ornate Bicer. Very popular when you're talking about Bicer. Oh, they get humongous, like three feet or some stuff like that. I'm not going to talk to you about that one because they, you don't see them. I've, I've seen one in real life. Um, and that was at Aquashella. Um, if I ever came across one, yeah, I'd get one. But you ain't gonna see them that often. You'll see the Del Hizzies and you see the Senegals. Uh, you'll see the Senegals. And the Senegals are cool because they come a lot in albino. But let's get into what you can expect of them. And and what I feed them. And how I keep them. So, that way you you, you know. First of all, the let's start with the Senegal. The Senegal Bicer, which is the most common one. You can get them about this big for... I don't know i think i've seen one for 9.99 before like this big the problem is 
with getting them that big is that you kind of almost need to keep them in an aquarium that you intend for them you can put them in with like smaller fish at that big but they're not gonna stay that big and they are predatory fish they don't see that well they have little two little barbels and they use that to sniff around in the dark because where they come from is murky water heavily planted water so they don't rely on sight to for food so they'll sniff around and that's where i kind of feel like they're dogs because they always sniffing around the bottom and they're um two um fins in the front they're thick and i'm gonna tell you why they they're shaped the way they are they're thick and they use them like feet almost you'll see them kind of walking along the bottom sniffing 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 and and that's where their character really shows that's where you go oh look he's so cute he's so cute because she's doing that right um they do eat off of the bottom they are predatory fish if they can fit it in their mouth they would but they can't see too well so a lot of times your fish are good unless they get real close to it so i would not suggest putting these fish even if they're little i would not suggest putting them with guppies because their fish will open their mouth sorry their mouth will open up like this so even though they got, might have a little head like the size of my finger and you figure oh my tetra is good i've seen them try to eat fish way bigger almost like a snake all right they do have the ability to um breathe air so you need to have a lid that does not have a lot of open spaces because they will wander out out of curiosity i've lost um rope fish are in the same family i've lost a lot of rope fish um i've never well let me change that i've lost i've lost one by sure and i'm like i said I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna get there i'm gonna get to that story so you need to have a lid that's you know doesn't have a lot of holes and openings where they could get a now they're not going to bust the lid open so you don't have to have bricks and stuff on your lid you know they'll they'll stop if they hit something you know and then turn around so you don't have to put like you know some people have big old monster fish and they have to put bricks on because the, the fish will knock the lid off these these really won't do that they'll just kind of go up up i can't get out and go back down but you gotta keep in mind that the possibility of them climbing out your tank is there if you don't have a tank at the moment you want these fish to be like i don't want to get a new lid da, 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 da. i would suggest don't keep your water level as high the only time they really will climb out of a lid is if you know the water level is really close to the top where they don't have to fight so much to get up and over so if you have the water level you know down like an inch or two you know they, they can't really get up there um you know within a re within reason you know what i mean if you have one this big yeah it's not gonna make a difference but if you have a little brand new one that's this big and you have a, a, a gap an air gap this big it, it can't it's not gonna do it so keep that in mind if you think about getting this fish you don't have to have a whole lot of lighting because like i said they like it in the dark now i've kept this fish well you'll see on youtube a lot of people keep this fish in open tanks that means it's not a lot of decorations with bigger fish and all that i've kept this fish in a very heavily planted tank and i've kept them in almost a bear tank and I've noticed a huge difference in personality. I've noticed a huge difference on how active they are and how much they eat. In general, just a huge difference in general. It's like totally different fish, night and day. These fish like to be able to explore. If you have a bare bottom, nothing, no plants, no not one driftwood in the middle, one rock, they're bored. They'll, you'll see them just chill in one spot doing nothing. Now, if you have a whole lot of plants, I don't care if they're live plants, um or fake plants stuff for them to check out and go around and move in and out you'll see them move a lot more you'll see their um interactions with each other a lot more you'll see them out a lot more so if you're gonna keep this fish i would suggest you keep it um and you go ahead go wild go buck wild with the plants go ridiculous go crazy leave an open area get the back of the tank and the sides get all bushy and leave an open area in the middle for you you know you to view them real good 
telling you, that's the way you want to keep them. Trust me. I did a video. I'm going to put the video up here for you to see it. They love shrimp pellets. To let you know right now, they love shrimp pellets. Um, you can go to the bait store and get them live worms. They love that. Try and keep stuff. They will come to the top if they can smell the food. But if you have them with other fish, the other fish will eat the food. Like if you have floating pellets and whatnot or slow sinking pellets, the other fish will eat the food before the Senegal Bicer or any Bicer can find it. So keep that in mind. Dude, you can get tilapia. You can get anything that sinks. Scallops, shrimp, all that stuff sinks. They'll tear it up. Now let's talk about the Senegal. And let's talk about the Senegals I have, the three Senegals. The Senegal Bicer, uh, I have three of them, love them. I did a video on them in, in a planet tank and how much they love it. This is my problem. I've tried to keep Senegals. Was I saying Senegals or the Heezies? The Heezies. If I was saying Senegals before, disregard all that crap. I'm talking about the three Del Heezies that I had. All right. The three Del Heezies. I tried to keep them with Senegals. You know, I bought Senegals about the same size, but the Del Heezies grew a little bit faster and they ate the Senegals. So they will eat other fish that it could fit in the mouth, even other bicers. So you want to get them all the same size. So like I said, I had three. Um, and one day I only could find two. I didn't have a lot of stuff in my tank. They're the only fish I could keep with my flower horn because they're, they used to be dinosaurs. <laughs> they used to be dinosaurs. They've been around since the dinosaur era. You know what I mean? Um, but because of their ability to breathe and they haven't really changed much since then, they found fossils. They almost look identical, you know? And the fact that they can breathe air and they use those little fins to walk across land. If one body of water starts to dry up, they can bounce over and find another body of water. So that's a really cool fact about this fish. It's just it's just a testament uh, of how hardy this fish is. But I didn't have a lot in my tank. I did keep it with my flower horn because my flower horn would kill everything I put in the tank. And because the bicers really didn't look like another fish, my flower horn left it alone. And they had thick armor, so, you know, the flower horn really couldn't mess with them that much. But one day I only could find two of them. And to this day, I've never found a third one. Usually, when a bicer or a rope fish or whatever you have bounces up out the tank, they do it out of curiosity. That's what it did. It climbed up out of the tank because I was a fool. I was like, ooh, I got to get that fixed. And I never did. And I procrastinated. And now a dead fish is the, probably, it, maybe, I don't know, maybe it got loose in the wild. Maybe it climbed out of my house. I don't know what it happened. But I got I got lazy. I got I, I got sidetracked. Da, 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 da. I didn't ever put cover the hole of the tank. Um, and normally you can find them underneath a couch, behind the aquarium, dried up. I've never found this. I have no idea where this fish went. It's this big. It's this big. And it just disappeared. It just, just poof, like a fart in the wind. You know, there's a lot more to them to, than just keeping them in an aquarium. Possibility of them getting out is there. So there's that, and that's probably the biggest down for this, this, this fish. You get them small, so you think you can keep them with smaller fish until they get bigger, but you don't realize that you have to get bigger, uh, 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 put them in a bigger tank until they eat your little fish. It's going to happen. And then if you try and put smaller ones, with bigger ones, they'll eat that, or they might bounce up out of the tank. But all that aside... You will fall in love with this fish. It's got personality. They're cute. I ain't gonna lie to you. They're kind of cute. You know what I mean? Just sniffing around, checking out life. Nobody messes with the bicer except other bicers. So if you're looking for tank mates, there you go. Nobody messes with the bicer except other bicers. Dun, dun, dun.